Hi guys, Retro Jango here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, if you played Amiga back then, then you're familiar with this disk drive sound, loading sound. Well, this Amiga 500 is working perfect. It loads fine. Everything is all right. But I have a couple of disk drives here that does not work. This one is dead. And the other one is dead. Let's check him out. And I hope at the end of this video, it will sound like this. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Let's take a look at disk drive number one. What's gonna happen when we insert a fully working disk? Well, not much. I have cleaned the head. I have adjusted it. I have done all the things I know about uh, cleaning and uh, adjusting <laughs> these drives and nothing helps. I have done everything in my knowledge and uh, the only thing that's left is um, replacing the capacitors. So, uh, so other than that I have tried everything and this drive is just not working. So let's check out this drive number two. now let's go to the next one the problem is different here the problem lies in here as you can see it's got two black plastic thingies here this one is just pressed down I can pull it up but this is the connection uh, that um, when we insert a disc this one gets uh, pushed down and uh, it tells the disk drive that a disk is inserted and uh, makes it spin and read and all that. But this head is down, so now when I turn on the Amiga, it spins for a second and just stop, just stops spinning. So um, this head here is just dead on this. It's just it, it it's wobbly and um, yeah, and I really don't know how to replace this. But I hope. I hope, fingers crossed, that uh, the rest of the drive works. So I'm thinking, yeah, as you can see, I just want to demonstrate here. You can see it does not get the signal that the, in, that the disc is inserted, so no, nothing happens. You can hear the clicking sound. Yeah, so I'm thinking Take the drive from this drive number one and put it in here and see what's gonna happen. Let's disassemble these drives and uh, and try it out. All right, somebody has been trying to repair this because as I as I can see, um, let's get a screwdriver here. Um, as you can see, this one is popped up right now. But if I push it down gently, it will. It will stay down and it's crushed and all that and still very very wobbly 
and I have found out if we turn it around, as you can see on the other side here, that another owner has been uh, trying to, I don't know, I don't know if he, <laughs> if he did reheat these connectors or if he tried to um, replace this part, but uh, well, this is not fabric as, as you can see, and it looks like, yeah, I really don't want it in my Amiga, so uh, this one has to go here. I hope, I don't know, but I just hope that this part works fine on this drive. I hope the head works and uh, the motor here and the opto back there. I just hope it works. As you can see, I have just uh, disassembled uh, this plastic thingy for the disc insertion. It's over here. And um, the problem is here. And as you can see, it's connected here. They are the old caps. It, it, it would be a great idea to replace, replace them. I have tried it before and it, it, it removes a lot of problems. But uh, this it has nothing to do with the with the caps, with the capacitors. So uh, yeah, this is the part I want to replace. All right, guys, I just used a couple of minutes on the on reassembling the disk drive, and I'm gonna turn the Amiga on and see what it says. Uh, I really, I always hate this part because. Uh, Maybe if I did something wrong, it can happen, you know, it can happen. So let's just turn it on and, uh, and see what's going to happen. I'm ready. If it blows something, I will turn on the power. No. And it does do the clicking sound. That's nice. Uh, we got a carry adapter here and um, it's real nice. It, it allows me to plug in this uh, half a megabyte fast RAM and with daisy chain and then and, and use this 1.5 megabyte RAM also. It's it's a nice combination, but it can only be happen if you have a Gary adapter. So if you have a Gary adapter, I really want to buy it from you because I have six or seven of these 1.5 megabyte RAM expansions laying around. I also have them looking like this. This is a also 1.5 megabyte. But in a standard Amiga 500, um, they only use as, they only work as uh, half a megabyte without the Gary, t uh, Gary adapter. So if you have one of them, please mail me. I really want to buy one of these from you. Um, all right, so the moment of truth, let's <laughs> put in a disc in the drive and see what's gonna happen. As you can see, this is the, this is the old one. <laughs> Look at this guys. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Please work. No, yes, yes, that's the sound I love. As you can see, the drive drive loads. That's nice, guys. So, from two drives that were dead, we got one working one now. Um, yes. If you have any idea of uh, any company that sells these, I have never seen it, but um, if you know someone, some uh, company or a pri private person that sells these, please let me uh, get a link. But uh, as of right now, on this drive, this is dead. And uh, as I told earlier, I just adjust everything. I mean, you can um, unscrew these two and adjust the head and clean the head and, and, and all that. But this one does just not work. So um, 
but as you can see you can still use some parts you can use the opto here that stops the drive you can use this one that makes the drive go back and forth i mean yeah just uh, don't throw any amiga parts out guys because um, yeah they are 30 years old so um, as you can see i got a working drive now and it's great nice one of my favorite 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 amiga games um so much playing two player supercast 2 only works with kickstart 1.3 my amiga 2000 got kickstart uh, 3.1 and it does not play the game it's just yeah All right, guys, I have tried four or five different games and then they just all work perfect. Load so fine. So I'm really, really happy with the result. Now I have one working drive instead of two dead ones. So it was all worth it. I just want to say uh, thank you for watching. And um, if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe because more is on the way. Bye.